Right, back on again. The final wind down for the walk now. I'm just beginning to feel hungry and um, tired. Just a bit, bit tired now. Um, only a bit. I'm not bored though. No. No, it's going to be a nice relaxing type of tiredness when they go to sleep tonight. There's the stream carrying on. I just spoke to a local gentleman. Going out with his little dog for a walk. I don't know whether he lives local or what. Yeah, it's not far now. I always say that, but it tends to sometimes go on longer than you think, actually, once you're here. Um, but we'll be back before dark. Some people are probably only just going out for a short walk up there, see? Up a bit of the comb and back. That's the sort of thing, you know, some people might just do, just go for a little walk. Or do a loop. Go along, go up, around. Sort of thing I'd do if I lived local and I had a dog. I've got a big packet of crisps. And I've still got loads of water and chocolate cake, believe it or not. But I mean, I should really have... Because I don't tend to bring sandwiches out or anything like that. They go, they go, they go off. You would like to get food poisoning once the ham starts getting warm in your bag. It tends to be non-perishables, but that, and it tends to be muck. I don't take cheese anymore. I don't carry cheese with me. Like I used to like, I still do, I a wedge of cheese. But what I find with cheese is it gives me indigestion when I'm walking. Because um, because of ticks and stuff, I rarely sit down. I eat on the move. <sighs> because the ticks will get on you as soon as you sit down or um, put your bag down. <sighs> Call of nature can be difficult at times. Especially for us ladies. <sighs> yeah, my, like I said, my I've got to go shopping at Tesco's after this. <laughs> I've got no milk, no bread. Um, I've got no dinner. Um, I've got nothing. And he got paid the other day. I haven't been out and uh, done any shopping yet. But I'll have to stop at Tesco's tonight because it's open to midnight. I've got to stop and get milk and and um, basics. Got to. So this is still part of the whole the Holford walk. Um, this bit always seems a long way when you bring the, the small people. When you bring the small people along here, they they think you're never going to get back to the vehicle. Well, much further. And we've all been the same as kids because it's you've been out, you had a lovely day, you get tired, then you've got this bit to walk back. Well, I'm still looking out for deer. But, uh, <sighs> and of course, what, what it is by the end of the day as well, still hear the stream look, over there, by the end of the day you're getting tired, your legs are aching, your feet, you probably need a decent meal, I mean I'm thinking of just having some, quite a, oh, I've got to be careful because I don't like eating anything too heavy before bed you see, um, I'm just trying to think what I'd want. I mean, I fancy lots of things. I fancy something with meat. I know, and I am. I'm sorry, I do eat. I do eat meat. Um, I fancy uh, 
a nice thick chicken soup, for example, with some bread. That would go down, or a crusty roll. That's what I fancy. And, uh... I think I've still got a trifle at home somewhere. I'm, I, mean, I am beginning to be hungry, getting hungry. I could be in a traffic jam, yeah. There's a traffic jam. It might still be on. Might be still be happening. Um, and the traffic might have eased. I hope. Hopefully, the traffic has eased. Yeah, I started off the walk at the green. I went out onto the green to start the first video of the day. And, um... Let's see if I can see any deer still. And then I climbed up the nap. Up and up and up. In the heat. With beautiful views all around. And I've been rambling on all day long. Like I say, one day, I might not be able to do this, and um, so I'm, I put it on in the cloud, that means I put it online, to share with others. It gets, they can save it, they can use it, parts of it if they want, and in that way, a bit of me gets passed around and shared. And the beauty of this place gets passed around and shared. Are you asleep yet, everyone? All I know is several hours before I'm going to be back in my flat. <laughs> so I've got to go to Tesco's. I've got no milk. I've got no bread. And the cupboard is bare, apart from one sort of soup. <sighs> I have got some eggs. I live very frugally because stuff goes off. Uh, uh, I use, uh, you know, I buy too much if I do that, and I don't like using the freezer very rarely because the thing is, I buy junk food. I don't have a microwave, else I'll eat junk food. So I tend to eat fresh food every day. I go and get it: fresh vegetables, fresh meat, fish. And I prefer it that way, actually. So um, I've got a fruit freezer that's not used. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, say I had someone come to stay, that would be the only time I would possibly use it to top up some sort of food in there, like puddings and stuff. People like their pudding, don't they? Oh, still a long way. Look at that. Still a long way, everyone. Oh, you see any sh no deer to say goodnight to me on my way home? No? I tell you, my, my legs are just starting to feel like lumps of lead. I could really do with a nice cup of tea as well. I mean, if I get a headache tonight, I won't be surprised. I'll tell you why, because I, I've been, because I do the videoing and photographs, I do neglect my drinking. That's why I drank a load before I started to walk. And I've just been taking sips. Um, but I'm going to have a good guzzle once I get back in the, the van. I'm going to have a big guzzle. I have had two orange. I think I've had two oranges. Well, I definitely had one orange, and I've got another one. The crisps. I don't know if I'll bother with them. The thing is, would they be salty? I always take something like that, though, because I feel like that's like that would be a substitute meal when I'm in the middle of nowhere if I need something to eat. Anyway. So still going on, folks. We're still going on. I always forget how long it is, actually. I always think, once I've left the stream area, well, the, the mainstream area and the coombs, 
that I'll be back. But now, it's still quite a hike. And then suddenly you're there. You get to an end. I can see a gate now. That will be the sign that we are very close to the green. Now, I expect this will be a bit humpy bumpy because so I'm having to hold with one hand. I'm up because with part of this hand I'm holding the battery charger. With part of this hand I'm holding the battery charger. The other hand I'm holding the walking stick. The hiking stick I should say. I'm not an invalid. And I think it's I'm going to be turning off any second now. There's something strange coming up on the screen. All in orange. I haven't got a clue what it is, but it could be that it's not recording. Who knows? Once we go through this gate, it's not far. Put it that way. We're very close to the green. Once we get through this gate, we'll be passing the roundhouse. There's a history to that. That could, that could have been a weaver's cottage, I don't know. But here's a roundhouse, which has got like um, a waterfall, which probably was used as a, a type of mill once. Down there, look. See? This is the stream that the Huguenots would have used. And that's the roundhouse. And of course, as far as I'm concerned, these gates are recent. I mean, they never had nothing like this when uh, in the past. I mean, they've been here a few years now, but... Oh, I can see um, a yurt up on the hill as well. Up there, let me zoom in. There's a yurt, look, a big brown tent. That's great living there. It's even got a, like a pine front door on it. A chimney. You could probably live there as a home, you know, yurts. I mean, some people do live very frugal lives. Um, and they like that. It would live out here. I mean, what I like where I live, actually, is I know I can, at the moment, I can get out to these places. But I don't... At one time I would have wanted to live right, and I have lived in the middle of nowhere, but it's, it's not as ideal as you think sometimes, because it's very isolating. Very isolating indeed. Um, that was when I lived near Totnes, um, on the hill there, right up on the hill, out of the town. That was a bit isolating, really. Um, it was beautiful, but very isolating. I mean, I had owls hooting me to sleep at night. Um, but where I live now, it's okay. It's not um, next to a motorway. It's in town, near a park, near all the amenities. Within minutes I can be in the bank or the post office, getting a bus. Um, it's not right in the town. I'm not surrounded by shops or anything, but they're not far. You know, one, two minutes away. And I'm in the centre of Weston. So I've got that all the amenities close by for me you know literally and that includes all the <sighs> traveling you know the buses the coaches the trains i mean i've, I've got my own vehicle of course <sighs> not far now then so we came down there Like I said, I prefer to get my shopping tonight. 
but then I have to get up tomorrow a little bit achy and I have to go out and buy some food, you know. I mean, in a week, I've done a lot of walking, actually. A lot of walking in a week. I was I was all over on the Mendips going round the hill fort and all that not long ago. It eases up when it's really bad weather. But I mean I will be I try to I like to do one long walk a week. But I've been doing more than one a week lately. Of course it does make me tired. But I'm just a plodder. And here we are, back into the light, folks. You wouldn't even think the, the sun was going to sink soon, really, would you? The sun has allowed me to go through the coombe. Accompanied by the, the music of the stream. And back to, to the green. I say this place has got strong memories for me as a child. Mainly as a child. And um, memories of me and my sisters, Margaret and Jude, with, my, uh, with our dad coming here. And with the school. So look, you wouldn't think it's back the sun was about to set, would you? How bright it is. I wouldn't think that at all. I bet you there's a traffic jam. I'm going to have the crisps open next to me to eat on the way back. <sighs> so here we go, past these cops. This has all changed mine. They've all been done up and altered over the years. And wide the road widened. I might, my vehicle might be the last one in the car park. Oh, it's been lovely. <sighs> Let's have a look what the time is. God, ten to eight. Can you believe it? So I've been walking since midday. Eight hours. Been walking for eight hours. And I haven't really stopped, by the way, either. I haven't sat down. I haven't sat down once. There's the green. Back to the green. Here we go. Back to the green, everyone. I'm hoping old Berta is still with her. <laughs> yeah, I can see her. She's still there. She's in the sunshine. Just walking across the green. I'm sure once I see my sister Jude and Stuart sat on that bench when I came. I wasn't sure. Well, I can't always see that brilliantly of people. I've got to change my shoes. And I left home at uh, about 10 o'clock, you see. Left home about 10. And, um...
There was lo this car park was filled with people when I came here this morning. There was a huge big camper van there. People are probably thinking, oh, I wonder who's sitting in that van. There she is. There's Alberta. Cool, am I pleased to see you, Alberta? Am I pleased to see you, girl? Right, over and out, everyone.